All right, so this video is going to be part one of finding the line that is the intersection of two planes. Okay, so first off, before we even start into this problem here, let's figure out what we're actually like, let's get a visual of what we're actually finding here. Say we have two planes. Okay, we have one plane that goes down this way. All right. And we have one plane that goes up this way. Okay, so I guess you kind of have them as like identical, like really like symmetrical. Okay, now they intersect, where they intersect is going to be a line. Okay, and of course these planes are going to be infinite. Okay, so this line is just going to come up through here and go this way. This line in red, that is what we're actually finding here. All right, so moving on, what do we need for to, to find the equation of a line? We need a point and we need the direction of the line. So the first thing we can do is find the point, okay? We can find a point on this line. And remember, this is where the two planes are intersecting, okay? They're forming a line. So if we can find out a single point out of the you know, infinite points where these two planes intersect, then we're golden, okay? So to make this easiest, let's just try to find a point on the xy plane. Okay, let's see if they intersect, if, if they intersect and one of those points that they intersect on is on the xy plane. We can do that by just making z zero. Okay, if z becomes zero, then we're on the xy plane. All right, so we can now have x plus 2y equals 7, and x minus y, this becomes zero, so we have negative 5. So x minus y equals negative 5. Okay, so then we can subtract these and we will get x minus x is going to be 0, uh, 2y minus a negative y will be 3y, and a 7 minus a negative 5 will be 12. Divide by 3 on both sides, and you get that y equals 4. Okay, if y equals 4, then, well, what is x equal? We have a, uh, of this is, don't mind this negative, this was us subtracting. We have a x minus 4 equals negative 5, so x will have to be negative 1. If x is negative 1 and y is 4, well, actually, we don't even need to go back into these equations because we know that we had z equals 0, okay, because we're on the xy plane here. And you see that our point here is negative 1, 4, 0, okay? Now, one quick note, I didn't really understand at first when I was looking at this, like, okay, well, what happens if we, you know, it, like, like, what happens if these planes don't intersect on the XY plane? Okay, what, what if there's no uh, intersection point that is on the XY plane? Well, that's fine. Then the system of equations that we set up won't work, okay? And we have to maybe choose something different. Let's try the XZ plane, maybe the YZ plane, okay? I've never had that scenario happen to me myself. But uh, I think it could. Okay, you know, you might get something like that on a, a quiz or test. All right, so now we found the point. We need to find the direction of the line. Okay, and how we do this is probably just the hardest part about this whole entire kind of problem. Or not, not necessarily how, but you can kind of just, just the whole concept behind it uh, is, is not as intuitive as you might think. Okay, it's not like the first thing you think of. So we have two planes. We have one here going in and out of the board, and we have one here going in and out of the board. Where they intersect, you're going to have a line that goes into the board like this. Okay? Now, we can't find the direction of the line just by looking at it, right? We have to actually be able to compute that. And how we can do that is by, well, we know the normal vector of this plane. Okay, that'll be, let's say, n1, all right? And we know the normal vector of the second plane. It's gonna be n2. Well, if we find the cross product of these two vectors, okay, it's going to be a vector that is orthogonal to both this vector going across and this vector going up, and that's going to be the vector that we're looking for. Okay, it's going to give us the direction of the line. 
okay? So this is gonna be our V in the vector equation that we're gonna set up for our line, okay? So all we need to do is we need to have the two normal vectors for the plane, okay? And if we cross them, we get something that is orthogonal to both those normal vectors, which is going to be pointing in the same exact direction as our line, okay? So that's why we can use that as our direction. This is probably the hardest part to understand about this whole problem, okay? But if you kind of stare at it enough, you, you, you end up understanding it. That's what I at least had to do myself, okay? But hopefully this makes sense. You're using the normal vectors, okay? And when they cross, you just take the cross product. That vector that you get as your cross product is going to be orthogonal to those, and that's the same direction as your line, okay? So let's do that. We have a x plus 2y plus z equals 7, okay? What's the normal vector for that? Let's say that'll be n1. Well, that's going to be the coefficient on x is 1, the coefficient on y is 2, the coefficient on z is 1. In our normal 2 vector, that's going to be, well, the coefficient on x is 1, the coefficient on y is negative 1, the coefficient on z is 3. So there you go. You have n1 and you have n2. So let's find the cross product of these two normal vectors. We have i hat, j hat, k hat, 1, 2, 1, 1, negative 1, 3. This is equal to i hat times, 2 times 3 is 6, times negative 1, sorry, not times. This will be minus a negative 1 times 1 is going to be negative 1, so we'll make this a plus 1 here. Well, minus j hat times 1 times 3 is 3, minus, we'll have a 1 times 1, which will be 1. So we have plus k hat. Okay, for k hat, we'll have 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, minus a 1 times 2, which is going to be 2. So, our cross product is going to be 7 i hat minus, we have a 2 j hat, and we have minus 3 k hat, which gives us the vector 7, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, that is our direction right there. Okay, and now we have the point, we have the direction. Let's just plug this into our vector equation for a line, and that's literally going to be it. Okay, so remember the vector equation for a line is that the vector r equals the vector r naught plus t times the vector v. r naught is your position vector for the point that you know. Okay, and we know that that is going to be the vector negative 1, 4, 0. Then we have plus t times the vector v, which is 7, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, right there, that is your equation for your line. Okay, that's literally it. So we just found our point. We did that by just setting z equal to zero and finding if they intersect at any point on the xy plane, okay? And then by do by just showing that, well, if we take the, if we find the normal vectors for both of those planes and we take the, we find the cross product of those two normal vectors, we're going to have a vector that's pointing in the same direction as our line, okay? And well, that gives us our direction. We plug in our position vector for the point that we know and we plug in our direction, and voila, we have the equation for the line. That is the intersection of two planes. That's gonna do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.